Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 2nd of December and this time I'm bringing you some news from Capcom regarding Resident Evil Revelations 2 as Capcom has revealed the release dates for all four episodes of the title and also given a happy confirmation that Barry Burton will indeed be making a return. Now, as for the release dates, the four episodes for Resident Evil Revelations 2 will be releasing one week apart. Episode 1 will come out February 17th, Episode 2, February 24th, Episode 3, March the 3rd, and finally, Episode 4 on March the 10th. Now, just to kind of clarify, each episode will cost $5.99, which is about £4.99, or $24.99, £19.99 for the season pass. So pretty reasonable and by no means is it a full-blown AAA release. Now, you guys may remember that it was kind of rumoured and leaked for a while that Barry would be making an appearance. And as I said earlier in the video, Capcom has confirmed that these leaks are in fact true. And that Barry Burson will not only be making a return, he will even be a playable character. Now, Barry is apparently going to be teaming up with a new character by the name of Natalia Corda, who is basically helping him in the search for his missing daughter. Now, Natalia is apparently a little girl with a power that allows her to sense enemies and hidden items, which could be rather interesting for the completionists in you out there. Now, as you may might imagine, it's kind of going old school style a little bit, with each episode containing two scenarios, one featuring Claire and Moira, and the other featuring Barry and Natalia and each episode will have a raid mode. Now, those who get the season pass will actually receive a little bit of a bonus with two additional spin-off episodes that tell the side stories of Moira and Natalia, as well as a new raid mode character, who is, of course, the Mighty Hunk. Now, a retail box set will be available on March the 13th, but oddly enough, it will only be available in Europe, which is a really strange decision. I would be very surprised if Capcom doesn't release it eventually in the US, but for the moment it is only in Europe. Now, it will include all the content from the season pass in addition to a few nice little shinies, that being the additional raid mode character, the Albert Wesker, for alternative costumes for each of the main characters, and a raid mode throwback stage um, featuring four stages from recent Resident Evil games. Now, it does seem a little strange to me that Capcom is basically discouraging you from getting the season pass digitally if you live in Europe, and potentially even the US. I would be very surprised if it doesn't release in the US, as I said. It seems very odd to give it to Europe and not the US. Usually it'd be the other way around, but even that would be kind of surprising. But regardless of where it comes out, it does seem a little bit like you get more for paying the same price, but for getting the physical copy. So it does seem like that for some reason they're discouraging you from getting the digital version because they are actively giving you more with the physical copy. You get Wesker, which is probably enough reason for most people to be honest, even if it's only a raid mode character it's still you know Wesker the piece de resistance when it comes to badass villains in Resident Evil so it is a bit of a strange decision but regardless at least we get some more Barry action and the pricing and the release dates seem pretty damn reasonable I'm really looking forward to Resident Evil Revelations 2 hopefully it will be as good as the first one because the first one was a very nice return to form for Resident Evil a nice return to the old school survival horror style and hopefully Revelations 2 will be a continuation of that particular theme anyway that is me done for this video and I'll see you next time